Okay, now let's begin with our first project, MQTT Basics. So in this project, we're gonna see how to share the data between MQTT Broker and the clients. So if you notice here carefully, MQTT Broker is installed in Node-RED. So I'm going to use my computer in which I have installed my Node-RED. So I'm going to use the system. And then you will see we have MQTT Client. It's also a Node-RED application. So this is what we'll see inside the Node-RED itself. And we're gonna see MQTT Client and mobile application. So I'm gonna use my mobile phone, which is here. And I'm gonna install MQTT app in this one. And I'm gonna show you which app is working and how to configure this app to read the value from the broker. I can also use my iPhone so I can so you, show you the apps in both the phones. Besides that, I can also show you how to read the MQTD client in the Windows application, which is called MQTD Box. So we'll see all the possibility to read the information in the computer or in the mobile applications. So various steps are included in this project. First step is you have to install MQTD Box in your computer. And that you can do from the Microsoft website. So I will give you this presentation or put the link in the description. And you can see this app you can install from the Microsoft website. Okay, so it's very easy. Just click on get and it will be installed in your computer. This is the step one. You need MQTD box. This is a this is here, MQTD client. So you need a client to read the information. Secondly, if you want to uh, use your mobile phone, you can use MQTT dash. This is for Android phone. So if I click on this link, you will be redirected to this app. So you can use this app to read the information from the broker. So again, this is a client. All right. Third client I've mentioned MQTT tool for mobile phone if you have iOS system. So in this case, the app kind of look like this. So I have these apps installed in my phone. I have this app also installed in my computer. So make sure you install these apps. Once you do that, you have to open your Node-RED and you have to install MQTT Broker, which is this one, A-D-E-S. I don't know how to pronounce this, IDIS or I don't know. <laughs> so you need to install this nodes in your Node-RED. So if you are doing this course, I assume you already know Node-RED because I have already explained that Node-RED is required to understand this course. So what we do is I start my Node-RED already. I have started this from my command prompt. I'm going to show you about this project. How does it work? What I'm going to explain. And then I'm telling you how to do this project yourself. Okay, so I can also show you the code in the end of the section. So let's see, after installing the apps, what is the first step? You have to open your Node-RED. So here I have my Node-RED opened here, okay? I will come to these nodes, but first we have to install Broker. So I told you we have a Broker inside and how this come here, you will not find it here unless you install the nodes. So go here in your Manage Palette, click on Install and just type AEDES and you will find this Node-RED MQTD Broker. So just click on Install and once you install, you will find this in your nodes. Okay, so you have this broker. I bring this broker here. And when I go inside this broker, what do you see? Some ports. Okay, now what is this port? So if you remember when I talked about MQTT in the last lecture, we have a broker. Now, broker has an IP address. So in my case, my broker is installed in my computer. Okay, and this computer has an IP address. But besides an IP address, you always need a port for communication. So for MQTT, we define the port by default 1883. So this will be inside automatically. If it's not, just type 1883. So this is the port we define for our broker. So let me just go back to the diagram and I can explain you one more time in a, another simple way. So I have my, in, in this project one, So I'm using my broker. It's a bit not easy to write in the writing pad, so please excuse my handwriting. This is broker has an IP address, which we need to know because when clients are going to connect, this broker needs an IP address, okay? And it needs a port. So the IP address, how do you know what's the IP address? So let's say you bring the broker here and then you put inside 1883, 
click this uh, WS bind to the port and in the security you can define your username and password so that your broker is secure for connection. So here we need four things. IP address, port, username, and password. Now IP address will be, will be the IP address where broker is installed. In my case, my broker is installed in my computer. Okay, so what is the IP address for my computer? I can find it out by going to command prompt. In case if you don't know, just type IP config, press enter, and here you will see the IP addresses 192.168.0.71. This is very important. We need to know that when we are going to make connections. So it's 192.168.0.71. Dot zero dot seventy one, and the port is one eight eight three. And username I have already defined. It's Node Red. It's totally up to you what you want as username. Password is Code and Compile. So you can define your username and password, whatever you want. So these are the four things you need to connect to the broker. Okay. So I can tell you where I have defined that. IP address is not defined in this broker node. This will be defined in the MQTT client because when the broker is installed in this computer, it's by default that broker takes the IP address of this computer, okay? And board is here, 1883, like I've mentioned here. Username and password is coming in the security. So put your username, put your password. If you don't want, you can also skip the step. But if you want your MQTT to be secure, do that step as well. Click on done. And once you do that, you see here one F, I have one connection connected. And this connection is because I'm using Node-RED inside, Node-RED client inside the Node-RED. Like I've, I've explained you here, we are using one of the client inside the Node-RED. And that is one which is connected. How it is connected? Now, what you have to do is, you have to use this node and this you can find it here very easily mqtd out and this is by default in node red so once you take this node this is the same node so you open that and then you define a topic so in this case my topic is test okay because i have to publish some information in my broker so let's go back here so i have this is my broker now we talk about clients so my first client, which is my node red. And my broker is also in node red. Okay. So node red is sending the information as a client to the broker, which is also node red. So in this case, this client, when client is sending some value to the broker, I told you, the client is here my publisher and to send the value the client needs what it needs a topic so I use the topic as test we have understood in the last lecture this is my topic so this test I have defined in my node red here this is my topic what is QoS we will understand that later so I put it at zero by default and server now server means where should the client publish the value so in this case this broker is my server broker is my server and this is my client so I need my server details that's what I did in my node red so here you can see I click on this pencil icon in your case maybe it's like add new MQTT broker click on that and then you will have a window like this now this is the server IP address. That's what I told you. You need the IP address of your broker, which is installed in my computer. So my computer IP address 192.168.0.71. That you mentioned here. And you mentioned the port address 1883. This is the same of our MQTD broker. Username and password I define here. In security, I define username and password. And besides that, I give a name to my client. 
So this you can define by yourself. If not, it will automatically create it. But I want to define it because I want to read which client has been connected. So I write node red underscore desktop. You can use any name you want. So in this case, my broker will take the name. So now I have a name for my client. And that name of the client is node red underscore desktop. Okay, so this is my first client. This is my client one, which is publishing a topic test. That's the client name using the broker communication details. And now what is the value being published? I just click update because there's no changes or I can just click cancel. Now the value which is being published is this timestamp. It's just basic value. Payload is a string and that is says hello. Okay. That is the message which I'm publishing in the broker via this node. Okay, I will delete this one. So this is the node to read what is published. Okay, so I published hello to my broker. So if I show you again, this I have published hello, which was my message. So here I can write my message was hello. And this is recognized by the topic test. And node red is publishing the value. And I told you in the beginning, clients can be publisher or can be subscriber. Okay, so I publish and I can also subscribe. So now I publish this value. I can also subscribe to this value and this I need to do to subscribe to the value what I need from the broker. I just need the topic name test. That's it. And of course the broker details. So when I subscribe, this is how I'm subscribing. So just to make it clear, I can write some comments. So this is reading or subscribing. I prefer to write subscribing and the upper one is publishing. So this is publishing. Forget about that, we'll come to that later. Deploy. So now, so you can see that when I publish the value, hello, now this value goes inside the broker. Here I'm also subscribing to the value. And if I open the payload, now if I publish again, I am reading the value again, which gives you me the value hello. Okay. So if I change this value, I write MQTT, click done, deploy. And if I send the value now MQTT to the same topic named test, I get MQTT. This is coming from here. Now let's take a very quick example. I change the topic to test um, test one done and this is again test one and I take another topic I rename that to test two okay and I take another message and here I write code and compile okay also a string and I subscribe uh, publish that to now test two. Now we have two topics. So I deploy and now both are connected. Now because I only subscribe to test one, I will only get the message MQTD. I will not get this message because I'm not subscribing to it. So if I subscribe to another message, let's say test two and deploy, now I will get another message, code and compile. So the subscribing can be anywhere. It can be inside the same computer or it can be in a mobile application. Okay, so we have seen publishing and subscribing via MQTD client, which is publishing and subscribing as well. In the next video, as videos get longer, I will show you how to do that using a mobile application. All right, let's see that in the next video how to publish and subscribe using mobile application. Thank you for watching. Ciao.